Sets Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post videos just like this uh, where I show you guys how to do music video effects and such, but mainly improving your YouTube videos to kind of give it that vibey, trendy look uh, that a lot of people are going for uh, these days. So I really hope you guys consider subscribing and maybe turning on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video. But anyways, this is the tutorial that I'm going to show you or the effect that I'm going to show you. Uh, in this video and it's really really cool and probably the easiest effect that you guys can do in Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins are required. You don't need any of that. The only thing you need is your music video, your vlog, whatever. Just have a video with two different scenes. Uh, there has to be at least two, two different scenes. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool effect. Now this effect is very similar to another effect that I've done a, a couple of weeks ago where I show you how to do this uh, same exact effect pretty much. However, there's an outline, like a glowing effect on the outside, and then after it does this here, it just disappears. Whereas in this effect, I'm gonna show you how to do um, this glitchy effect here as well, and then it goes back to its original spot while continuing to the next video. And I didn't show you how to do that in the last one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna extend the video here, assuming you have a music video filmed already. But anyways, what you want to have is at least two different scenes. So here we have one completely different scene with um, Khaled's or Khalid's music video called Better. Link is gonna be in the description if you guys wanna watch that music video. I'm gonna hover over the uh, part where I want him to be on the previous scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go using my left and right arrow keys. I'm gonna push left and right to kind of uh, move in between frames. So one frame over, that's the, the scene that we want, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top here we're gonna go to edit and then we're gonna to go to the bottom and click on add freeze frame or press option F for the shortcut on the Mac of course. Now you're gonna have this still image, okay? So it's just pretty much getting a, a uh, screenshot of wherever the time head, this is the time head, uh, wherever this is at, that's where it's gonna take a screenshot pretty much. So we're now we're gonna click and drag this clip right above the video here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it, I don't know, I would say maybe six frames to the left, maybe eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten frames. So we're gonna move this all the way to the left, ten frames, and zoom in using Command Plus because we want to see the individual keyframes. You can see that. Alright. So from here what you want to do is you want to cut or split this clip here right as the next scene appears. So what you gotta do is press B for the uh, blade tool and then click here. So this will split the clip right uh, where the timeout is at. So just delete the end part, okay? So now you're gonna have this. Now it's gonna continue like if it's a seamless clip. So what we wanna do is we wanna mask him out. So we're gonna go into the effects here and we're gonna go to the all video and audio and we're just gonna type in draw mask and this should be in the masks as well. So just click and drag that over. And now we're going to have draw mask. Make sure you click on this and you start making your selections. I like to go something like this. So start clicking. It can be very rough. Uh, now I like to go and make sure I smooth out his face at least so that it's not so rough, of course. So I'm going to click and drag. I think this is where his hair is at. It's really hard to, to tell since he has like black hair on a black background. Um, but just click and drag uh, selecting him. Okay. And from here we can just quickly add these frames here and this will complete the path so we can see him but we can't see the background so we're pretty much hiding it so now we can fix some of this here so that's not bleeding onto the letterbox so once you have done this we're going to go into fall off and we're going to drag this to the left we're going to drag if we click off of it you can see what we've done but we're going to change the the feathering so if we drag it to the right this will increase the feather to the um, the outer edge whereas we feather it to the left it will feather it in uh, towards the inner uh, edge so we're gonna feather it outwards just a bit around nine now once you've done this you're gonna have this effect going on right looks pretty cool but it's really boring so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, pretty much make as many copies as we can now I only showed you how to do four I think but this time I'm gonna show you how to do eight but it's the same thing. If you're gonna do multiple, I would suggest you guys increase the length because you're not gonna have that many frames to work with. So we only have 10 frames to work with, so we might probably not be able to get eight in, but we'll try. So we're gonna press Command C, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Command V, and this will paste the clip right above it, or just drag it on top. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move 
this uh, first part here, click and drag it so it's one frame inwards. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the transform tool here and then or you can go over to the transform in the inspector window and go where, where the x axis is. So it's at zero. Uh, now we're going to click and drag this and move it to the left like so and then click done. So now it's going to look like this. OK, now we're going to do that again for the third frame. So press command C, paste and then just drag this to the left here. OK, click on it again and then go back to the transform, move the X axis, click and drag with your mouse and drag it your mouse to the left so that we have something like this. And then just keep doing that. So command V to paste, click the front here and trim it to one frame. This is one frame here and then click on it again and then move this as well. So other way like that. And I'm going to try and squeeze one in, another one in, so something like this. Okay, so once we've done this, we're going to move it one more time over like so. So now we have, if we, if we go back and we push play, it's going to look something like that, look, which looks really cool. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to move this back in place. So we're just going to create a pyramid. So what we're going to do is go to the end of that clip. So we're working with the bottom one here first. So we're going to click and drag this one frame to the left. And you want to keep doing that so that you kind of create a perfect pyramid so that the end of that clip moves over. So it, you kind of create a staircase going down like this, but it's one frame each, as you can see. All right. We managed to actually successfully create what was one, two, three, four, five, I think five. Um, that, but that's because we have it kind of short. You could probably squeeze in a lot more if you probably added four more frames. Uh, but now if we go back and we push play, it's going to look something like that, which looks super cool. Now, it doesn't look that cool yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top clip, which should be this one here. And you can tell by clicking on this. Okay, now we're going to go to the effects here again. So we're going to go into the uh, blur. Okay, so click blur. And then we're going to have, if we scroll up, we're going to have directional. Okay, we're going to click the directional blur and we're going to add it to each single one except the top clip. So drag the directional over here and over here and over here and over here. So now each one of these has a directional blur. So it looks a little bit more natural as you can see. All right. You don't have to add that, but I think it looks kind of cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, the stylize. So go into the stylize and we're going to add the bad TV effect. We're going to drag that directly on top of the first clip. And then under the bad TV, we're going to change the static type to TV static. And then you can adjust these values if you wish. You can move it over to the right if you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the time head at the beginning of this top clip. And I'm going to go over here to the plus icon. And I'm going to drag the time head to the end of the top clip. And I'm going to increase the amount to the right, I don't know, a little bit to around 30. So this creates this glitchy effect. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look just like that, which looks super cool. And of course, I muted the audio because I don't want to get copyrighted. But this is what your music video would look like if you added this effect on top of it, which looks super cool. And then it continues on. But you always want to make sure that the bottom clip aligns directly to where you made your cut or else it's not going to make sense. So just FYI. But you can see how we've created our pyramid. If I make our window smaller, you can see that we've created a nice little pyramid. And that's what you want to do. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, guys. That would be awesome. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace.